Okay. Uh, when uh, GFX auto detect windowed. Um, that is one of the four, uh, what Allegro likes to call um, magic drivers. There may be more than four. Uh, refer to your manual uh, to see actually see how many there are. But Allegro, uh, Allegro's GFX auto detect windowed mode is uh, one of them. Uh, basically, what it does is it sets the graphics driver to run the Allegro environment in a windowed uh, environment, much like uh, any other program in Windows does. Um, and not as opposed to full screen. If the fa if the function fails, uh, you will know it because it will just quit. It will let you know, um, and then it'll quit. Uh, uh, the second and third parameters are your resolution uh, of the window. So uh, once the graphics mode is set, um, you can go. You are free to go ahead and set up this declaration. Now, uh, what you've noticed here is that we've declared a rather um, different data type. Um, actually, it's, it's, a, it's a type defined by Allegro, and it's called the bitmap. And the bitmap itself is a, 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 a an array of, uh, of of bits used to store the information to an actual bitmap, um, depending on your d dimensions. Um, in, in this case, if you're programming with Allegro, you always want to use a pointer to a bitmap and not the actual bitmap itself. Because if you do that, uh, it will be temporary. It won't last very long. The, this, it has scope. So it's a local variable when you do that. When you have a pointer, you have a handle, and that's the address. Um, so what you do is you call uh, uh, a bitmap, a uh, pointer to a bitmap structure, and you assign it the the address of uh, that's returned from this function create bitmap create bitmap returns an address to a bitmap um, with the dimensions that you specify here in the arguments which is 800 by 600 um, length by width which is the size of our uh, uh, screen resolution so once you have that this is your bitmap that you're gonna draw onto or and show to the screen and now we're going to actually go ahead and do that, showing it to the screen. Okay. Now this uh, this condition here, uh, while the the key, um, while the escape key is not pressed. Um, the key, uh, the key data type is a flag to many of the the keyboard uh, interrupts. Uh, it has characters A through Z, lower and all caps, numbers, symbols, a uh, backspace, enter. Pretty much everything on the keyboard can be monitored by the key. Um, it monitors whether the key has been pressed or not, and uh, that that's how it handles keyboard input. So while the, uh, the escape key isn't pressed, then blit. Now, blit is a function that you will may or may not be using so obviously uh, often, depending on your design. Blit is a function uh, blit itself it it, it stands for uh, bit block image transfer uh, but they they uh, shortened it to bit blit and basically what blit the blit function does is it copies one bitmap and combines it to uh, onto another so it takes two bitmaps and it combines it into one uh, image so to speak so what we've done here is the parameters, the bitmap, that's the the source. That's the bitmap that you're taking and copying it onto. And the screen is what you're taking the first argument and you're putting it onto.
the screen, everything is eventually ha going to have to be uh, blitted to the screen or else you wouldn't see it. Uh, the screen is a global variable and uh, pointer in Allegro that points to the literal hardware screen. Um, these four values here, all zero, are the clipping uh, parameters. Uh, I'm going to talk more about clipping when we talk about blit in the next um, few videos. Um, just know that in order to uh, for the blit to be successful, both of these bitmaps have to exist um, in order for the blit to be successful. and uh, destroy bitmap. B destroy bitmap um, takes a pointer to a bitmap and it takes that uh, bit pointer to a bitmap and then frees the memory inside of it. So uh, you want to call destroy bitmap on all bitmaps that you declare um, and initialize with a create bitmap function or else you will have a memory leak and that's not good. Um, so that that's the gist of it. That's just freeing the memory from the bitmap that you allocated. You always want to deallocate your pointers once you're done with them. And once you've done this, then you have a fully runnable piece of uh, software here. It's not very big, but it'll it's uh, suffice for what we need to do now. Um, so once you've uh, created the source file, you're going to go ahead and save save it. Uh, We'll call it main CPP. Okay, and now you're going to compile it. Oh, uh, got my parentheses. Oh, and one more thing about end of main. I forgot to mention it before. You don't put semicolon afterwards because. Uh, is is incorrect. The manual goes into more detail about why it doesn't want you to put a semicolon there. It's it's a quite simple explanation, but it will tell you that. But uh, that's that's why. You do not forget to call that. So once it's done, it will tell you it's done, and you can run it. And here it is. Congratulations! It's your first uh, Allegro program. As you can see the window is 800 by 600. It is black and there's nothing on it. But we'll do more with uh, what, we, what we've done here in the video. This, this video was just more or less to tell you what the functions do and what you need to do to properly run and link the Allegro program. Uh, so next video we'll talk get in more into detail about uh, what these functions really do and we'll go ahead and call um, some new functions and introduce n new techniques so until next time Sio Fantasia see ya